In this video, we're going to be discussing Nears impingement test, or simply Nears test, which is a special test used in the assessment of subacromial impingement syndrome. To perform this test, the patient will be positioned either in seated or standing with their upper extremity by their side with the elbow straight. A quick note here on patient positioning. If you're performing this with the patient in seated, as I am right here, the patient does need to be scooted all the way towards the edge of the table. That way, for the given test side upper extremity, it can dangle off the edge of the table with the elbow completely straight. If the patient's in the middle of the table and you're doing this in seated, well then the elbow won't be able to be completely straight at the start of the movement. So having them scooted all the way over or in standing makes this test much easier. To perform this test, the patient will make a light fist and the PT will bring the patient's upper extremity into shoulder internal rotation. So here's the fist. I'll passively move into internal rotation, and then I'm going to stabilize the scapula right there. And then I'm going to passively move the patient's shoulder into shoulder flexion until end range is reached or patient intolerance is reached, whichever comes first. And a positive NEARS test is going to be the reproduction of the patient's familiar shoulder pain. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, when I passively bring the patient's shoulder into flexion, I'm going to go until end range is reached or patient intolerance, whichever is reached first. So if I'm performing that passive shoulder flexion and I bring it up to this degree right here, and that elicits the patient's familiar shoulder pain, there's no need to go any further and bring it up into full flexion. I'm just going to stop here and consider that a positive test. Okay. Now, the psychometrics of this test were evaluated by the same group in 2008 and 2012, and the sensitivity and specificity each time were fairly similar. So the sensitivity ranged between 72 and 79%, and the specificity ranged between 53 and 60 percent. So independently, Nears test has poor clinical value, and in order to rule up subacromial impingement syndrome, you need to combine this with the results of other tests specific for that condition, especially using the test item cluster for subacromial impingement syndrome, which we cover in a separate video. I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.